More inmates at the Oklahoma County Jail complaining about a massive bed bug, in bug infestation. One inmate that we spoke with says that he got a new mattress recently from the jail, but it was not enough. That's right, and now we're learning the jail just isn't finished working on the problem. News Force Taylor Mitchell looking out for him tonight. Mentally, emotionally, I mean, <laughs> man, you know, some nights I stay up and cry because, I mean, I can't do nothing. It's just mentally, it, it's abusive. Inmate Larry Dupree says even after the jail gave him a new mattress, he's still seeing bed bugs coming out of the vents in his mail and even his toilet paper. Us all night. Dupree says he's had bed bugs since he got there back in May. He believes the jail needs to do more and spray all of the cells over and over until they're gone. They're not doing nothing about it. Um, they haven't came to spray. We put in numerous grievances and requests to staff. You know, we did our paperwork on it, but it just, it seems like we're just being, not being heard. Dupree's sister trying to be a voice for her brother and other inmates who need help. They don't, you know, um, deserve to be treated like they're inhumane. The Oklahoma County Jail tells us they're working on a permanent solution. I'm looking at hiring a uh, certified applicator for spraying. Uh, that'll be on staff full time and we'll be using um, some pretty significant chemicals to address it. The jail says they have already started spraying and once the certified applicator is hired, they will work on treating the entire building from the basement all the way to the 13th floor. In addition to that, we're looking at filling in the, the concrete blocks of the walls and painting them which addresses a number of deficiencies. We're not only sealing up uh, a place where they are nesting, but we are also increasing the reflectivity in the cell. We're increasing the cleanliness, sanitation. Lucretia Dupree says she will continue to fight until the bed bugs are all gone. It's been an issue for a while. The Oklahoma County Detention Center says they do plan to have all treatment, though, completed by the end of this year.